Some more slide here to talk about uh, theory, spatially theoretical framework and conceptual framework for quantitative research. When we are conducting quantitative research, our literature review is totally different with qualitative research. So the structure of even the structure of literature review different with qualitative and quantitative research. In quantitative research, theoretical framework is very critical. And uh, in our literature review, in our literature part, a literature review part, we need to have theoretical framework and theory to support our research. We have two main uh, uh, theory, measurement theory, and a structural theory. Uh, we need to have both these theories in quantitative research. A structural theory refers to relationship between variables. Relationship between variables or hypothesis. So all hypothesis and relationship between variables should be supported by one or more than one theory, if we need. But in addition to a structural theory, we need measurement theory. Measurement theory refer to measurement of each variable. How actually we measure each variable. Next week, uh, the topic of next week is uh, measurement. Okay. So measurement theory is uh, critical for uh, quantitative research. And we need to have, addition to a structural theory, we need to have measurement theory and uh, justify how we measure each uh, concept. In next week uh, video, you can see I explain about formative, reflective, and composite measurement theory. So we have different types of, uh, as, uh, we have different types of measurement. And each measurement has some specific characteristic. So you can see in videos, uh, different types of measurement. But in literature, we have to explain and justify a measurement nature of our construct and explain how we measure this construct. Addition to a structural term. Okay. But what's the meaning of theory? Theory actually is uh, maybe, maybe we can say uh, one of the most uh, complicated concept, the meaning of theory. But uh, this paper is a very good paper to understand the meaning of theory. Khan and Hefni, 2019. I also uploaded this paper in reading list. So if you go through folder, you can download this paper. There are something, uh, I actually uh, use some code from this, uh, from this paper to explain the meaning of theory. Okay, the first thing from this paper is uh, for the definition of theory, in theory, we have the uh, three components or three uh, parts. Theory is a proposition. Theory is a conjecture, conjecture, and to be proved. And theory is something that uh, demonstrable by argument. Right? But Here is much easier to understand. Theory is something that need, need, to be, need to be proved, need to be confirmed. It's some proposition that need to be confirmed, right? But actually theory is a set of logical statement. It's a set of rational statement about how certain phenomena 
are related. How certain social phenomena are interrelated. How we connect, what's the rational behind uh, connecting behind relationship between social phenomena. Theory is something can explain, can explain the factors that are related. And explaining the underlying psychological, economic, or social dynamics that justify selection of these factors. So, this is the meaning of theory. So, theory is not literature review, is not references, is not previous empirical study that you refer to. So, this is not theory. Sometimes we think if we provide some evidences, some citation from literature, some references from literature, for our uh, statement, this is theory, this is theoretical framework, but actually it's not. Theory is not data, theory is not variable and construct. Service quality is one of the constructs that involve in our framework. So, as what's your theory? Said, okay, our theory is self, self qual, right? So, self qual explain component of service quality. Self qual is not theory because self qual explain. Self qual can be measurement theory because explain the component of service quality. But self, self qual don't explain the the component of self qual don't explain the relationship between this component or service quality and satisfaction. So it's not variable or construct, a structural theory. It's not diagram, it's not hypothesis, it's not prediction. Theory is something that explains rational behind the relationship between social phenomena. For example, theory of planned behavior is very common theory, right? Theory of planned behavior is a theory. It's an established theory that explains relationship between Explain relationship between attitude, subjective norm, and the perceived control on intention. Right? Intention. So, theory of planned behavior. Explain why our attitude about a product, subjective norm, something that we hear from others, and perceived control, the control that we have over the process, influence our intention to purchase a product, behavioral intention. Why this factor influence on intention? This why is explained by theory of planned behavior. So theory of planned behavior is a theory to support this relationship. TAM model, technology acceptance model. In TAM model, we have perceived usefulness or ease of use on acceptance. So this theory explain why we accept technology. What's the rationale for technology acceptance? So this is theory. Social exchange theory. Social exchange theory, what's that uh, component of this theory? This theory say, okay, if 
for two groups of people. For two groups of people. If these two groups think exchange between them, exchange between these two groups, the benefit of exchange exceed the cost of ex uh, exchange. So they will support this exchange. They are willing to do this exchange. So this is the concept of social exchange theory. So social exchange theory can explain the rational or reason behind this exchange. So this is social exchange theory. So this is the meaning of theory. Right? Theory explain rational behind the relationship between social phenomena. In quantitative research, we have to have, we have to apply theory to support relationship between variables, relationship between concept and construct. Only using literature review and previous study is not enough. But actually, we have two main types of theory. You can see the example that I uh, provided here, TPB or TAM. This type of theory or model is are very structured theory. So in TPB, in original version, only you can see three variable influence on intention. Or TAM, you can see two variable influence on acceptance. But in social exchange theory, we have this, this type of theory is unstructured theory. There are some main component. Exchange happen if cost, if benefit exceed, exceed cost. Right? But as long as you can justify the factors influence on support, for example, based on this theory is uh, acceptable. So social exchange theory, there is no specific variable. So this theory is unstructured theory. And you can justify using this theory effect of some different variables on support, on participation, or some dependent variable. But theoretical framework is a key and very critical in quantitative research. And you need to have any type of this theory. Sometimes for our research, we need to combine two theory. For example, we need to combine TAM and the TPB. We want to investigate the intention to adopt technology. So for this one, we need to consider technological factors or psychological factors. So we combine these two and develop a new model, right? So in quantitative research, uh, always we start with the theoretical framework and theory, and then we continue with dependent variable, independent variable, hypothesis, and uh, the end conceptual framework. So conceptual framework is uh, something for your study. So you have relationship between, for example, in your study, you have relationship between career benefit and com uh, company reputation and job uh, satisfaction. So your dependent variable is job satisfaction, but you have three variables that influence on job satisfaction. This is your conceptual framework. This is your conceptual framework. So conceptual framework is from your study. But theoretical framework is a theory or more than one theory that already established and you apply this theory to support your conceptual framework and to support your hypothesis. What's hypothesis? Hypothesis 
is a testable proposition based on theory about the relationship between two variables. So you can see some keyboard. One, testable. So hypothesis should be testable. So I don't agree to use hypothesis for qualitative research. For qualitative research, we use proposition instead of hypothesis. Because hypothesis is a testable proposition. This is one keyword. Another keyword, hypothesis should be supported by theory. So each hypothesis that you have, you need to write something. Uh, you need to write justification from theory and link to theoretical framework to support your hypothesis. And addition to theory, of course, you have to provide some evidences and citation from previous study. So for each hypothesis, you need to support from two different uh, perspectives. One from theory and one from previous study, empirical previous study. So another keyword in hypothesis is based on theory. So hypothesis should be justified based on theory. And between two variable. So here you can see three hypotheses and these three hypotheses should be supported by theory and uh, for example organizational theory. So you can uh, support the effect of this variable on job satisfaction. Right? Yes. Do you have any question? Okay, for hypothesis, we have uh, two categorization for hypothesis, null and alternative hypothesis, and uh, one tail and two tail. This is the last uh, slide. Later in the uh, statistic, I will explain more about null and the alternative hypothesis, but uh, for this uh, part, actually the, for each hypothesis, we have two hypotheses, null and hypothesis and alternative. Null refer to non-existence of relationship or difference. But alternative hypothesis refer to existence of relationship or difference or effect. Why we need to understand both? Because actually in a statistic, always we test null hypothesis, but we write alternative hypothesis. Most of time, testing alternative hypothesis is not possible. But we, by testing null hypothesis and rejecting null hypothesis, confirm alternative hypothesis, support alternative hypothesis. Why? Later we discuss and I will explain. And the one tail and two tail, when we have based on literature and based on theory, we can identify sign of hypothesis. We can say attitude has positive effect on intention or attitude has negative effect on intention. So based on literature and based on theory, we can identify sign of hypothesis. This hypothesis is one tail hypothesis. So one tail hypothesis is directional hypothesis. When we cannot identify sign, only we can say positive or negative. Only, only we, can, uh, we cannot say positive or negative. Only we can say attitude has effect on intention. Subjective norm has effect on intention. In this case, our hypothesis is two-tail hypothesis. What's the difference between one tail and two tail in a statistic, later we will discuss. In inferential statistic, there is some differences between one tail and two tail for testing one tail and two tail. Okay.